I'd like to call this segment, I have no idea what I'm wearing, so please forgive me. Also, I'm wearing this jacket because I was too lazy to put on a bra. I'm going grocery shopping right now, and I know you guys enjoy the grocery shopping videos or something like that. So, I'm gonna take you along with me. We're just going to Sam's Club and Target really quick to get a few quick things. And also, it's raining, which I don't understand why, because it's Southern California, and it's almost April. I forgot the Sam's Club card. At least I only went up to the car, right? Thinking positively. Okay, so from here I need to get lemons, apples, greens, I'm trying to get dried beans, frozen berries. I think that's it, unless I see other fun things, but we'll see. Okay, I'm getting some apples, and I like getting the apples from here because they sell like big bags of organic ones for way cheaper than they would be at the store. So like these organic Fuji apples, which are my favorite by the way, they cost right now $10 for five pounds, which would translate to like $2 a pound, but then in the grocery store it would translate to like $2.79 a pound or $2.99 a pound, which is pretty good, so yeah. Okay, so I actually found organic gala apples, which might end up being cheaper than Fuji because Fuji is more expensive. So if these apples are cheaper, I'm gonna go with them because I got these last time and they were really good. All right, the gala apples won. I like getting the big frozen berry bags here, which means I'm gonna spend a little bit more money when I'm buying it, but I do save more money because getting smaller amounts of fresh berries could actually cause you to waste more money just because the blueberries could go bad. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just like following people. Anyway, so the blueberries or blackberries, whatever berry that you get in that punnet might go bad, whereas if it's frozen, you get to use every single last one because the berries are picked at their ripeness and then freeze dried. So one, if you get them frozen, they're fresher. And then just because they're frozen doesn't mean that they lose any other nutrients. It really doesn't mean that nutrients are compromised at all. Or you save money because all the berries get to stay fresh and they don't get spoiled and you can use every last one. And frozen berries are so good. There's something about like freezing a fruit and then eating it like just makes it so much sweeter. I think it has to do with the fact that when you freeze the fruit, the cell um, expands and like the cell membrane walls break because there's water in the cells and like when you freeze something like water expands. But there's something about probably like having the sugars in the fruit itself dissolve into the water. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up now, but if you guys have a scientific reason as to why frozen fruit might taste better, let me know in the comments below. Let's continue. Literally walked in circles talking to you guys, but I have to go back that way because that's where we're gonna get some vegetables. I get this baby kale medley every time. Every time. I would like to get these beans, but I just can't fit all of this in my dorm room, so I'm gonna have to get a smaller amount next time. Now I'm at this grocery store called Clark's, and it's a organic produce and groceries. Literally says it right there. And I'm not gonna go to Target anymore because one, I'm hungry and I kinda wanna just like go home and eat. And if I will go to Target, then that's just gonna delay me, like, let's be honest, an hour, because Target is the home of everything you don't need but absolutely want. And I can list. Oh, did I just drop something? Oh, man. Oh, it's cool. I see it. So I just decided to come here to Clark's and the things that I needed to get from Target are here because Clark's not only has groceries, but they also have home stuff and the like. I brought these um, reusable mesh bags. Aren't you proud of me? Cause I'm not using as much plastic. And I got these off Amazon. I'll link them below but they're just like a lot better than like regular plastic bags. I've noticed that my vegetables last a lot longer and they don't wilt in the plastic, like in here, as much as they do in the plastic bag because it lets the vegetables breathe and they just look super cute. We are trying to get some lemon. I like Clark's because they have like all organic produce so I don't have to like think about getting conventional or anything and I've just been trying to eat more like as organic as possible after like learning a lot more about like pesticides and chemicals and fertilizers and stuff but um, it's definitely not necessary to eat organic if you want to eat more fruits and vegetables I think there's a bigger risk in not eating fruits and vegetables than there is in eating conventionally grown fruit uh, this is just like my personal choice though because like the more you know things the more empowered you are to make I mean different decisions, so this is me making a different decision. 
eating completely organic is not necessary. Just eat more fruits and vegetables and eat organic when you can and when you want. We got to get some avocados, but these are not ripe yet. Sad face. I'm gonna get some mushrooms and I'm gonna get those loose ones over there, but I just wanted to show you that those ones are actually cheaper because if you look over here, it's like $3 per pack and then each pack is like half a pound, so that makes like $6 a pound of those ones. But then if you go over here, it's $5 a pound, so it's cheaper. And those ones use plastic, more plastic than you need, so you waste more. And these ones, you don't. And you can use these cool bags. I wanna get red cabbage, but they're all so big and like, I can't finish all of that, you know? So I'm gonna come back another time and see if they have smaller ones because usually they have smaller ones and I really just have very limited fridge space. Like I would totally get one of these heads if I had a bigger fridge, but I don't. I will though get some of these tomatoes. These look good. And they're on sale. Usually get more leafy greens and more vegetables, but I am not sure just how much I'm going to be cooking in my dorm this week just because it's spring break and I'm like going back and forth between my dorm and my parents house where there's food or like I know my mom's gonna want to eat out sometime this week so it just makes sense to only get what I absolutely need and these are ingredients that I want to get and eat for tonight I'd rather go to the grocery store more often and get the ingredients that I need than like go and get like a big amount of ingredients and uh, groceries just because one I have limited fridge space and two I feel like I might end up wasting some of the vegetables or food because I don't eat them as quickly or they just like go bad in the fridge and I like to have myself like as fresh as possible. I just got some baking soda and while I was getting baking soda there were these two women in the aisle. When I was walking up to the area that I had to go which is where they were, I just heard her say like more effective than any blood pressure lowering drug out there and then the other woman was like oh, what is it called again? And then the other lady was like, how not to die. And I was like, oh my God, they're talking about how a plant-based diet is basically the best thing you could do for your heart health. And she was talking about the book, How Not to Die by Dr. Greger, which I definitely recommend to all of you guys. If you're watching this and you haven't read that book, you need to go watch that book. Watch that book. <laughs> Why do I say things? You need to go read that book because it is life-changing. Like, everybody should read it. I got super hype over that, but I just wanna let you guys know I got ba bacon soda, I got bacon soda. I probably walked past a living, breathing vegan in the aisle that I got baking soda in. Life updates. A lot of you guys asked me about Dulce Flakes, and this is a brand that I get right here. It's a pretty big bag and I only have like a teaspoon of it a day so it lasts me a long time. It's definitely a great investment but in case you don't like Dulce Flakes but you need a good iodine source, there's like all of these sea vegetables that you could get for a natural source of iodine. I'm cooking rice and quinoa right now and I kind of want to eat beans and some vegetables with that for dinner. You want to get non-BPA lining cans. We're going to get these black beans. Garbanzo beans on my favy. So I'm at the sale cart and I look over and I see that these are for sale, which is crazy because they're like $8 a bag normally and they're only $4. They're so good. It's literally just corn. Jasmine introduced this to me last summer and I would definitely be more hooked if it weren't so expensive, but now it's on sale, so. So this grocery store, Clark's, um, she just gave me some things. She was like, do you want to know what's going on this month? And I was like, sure! Even though like, I'm probably not gonna go to these things, but there is like a thing that tells you all the things that are on sale for the month, which is pretty useful. So I know like what I might get. I try to get different vegetables each time, just like play around. It's good to base your produce off of the season that it is. But you know what, let's face it, sometimes I just like want strawberries even though it's not strawberry season or I want watermelon even though it's not watermelon season. But it's good to see like what the options are that are cheaper so it like inclines me. Inclines me? Does that even make sense? To get more fresh veggies that are like in season. Anyway, so Clark has this 
rewards program and I don't even know why I signed up for it because it's not even like anything to, that benefits me. Every dollar that you spend at Clark's you get a point. So when you get a thousand points then you get a ten dollar certificate to go shopping at Clark's. But it's like it's not even a reward system because like all I get after spending a thousand dollars is ten dollars back. It would just end up being a reminder to me of how I spent a thousand dollars on overpriced fruits and vegetables because I like to buy organic. I just keep telling myself that at the end of the day, I feel like for sure eating more organic will improve the quality of my life. Like if you think about it, our grandparents grew up basically eating organic food, except at that time it was normal food and they lived to be like so much older. Anyway, with that being said, please don't roast me. Um, I love you guys very much. Thank you for hanging out. It was a lot of fun, but I am extremely hungry, so now I'm gonna go home and eat some grub. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, make sure you subscribe to me. Don't forget to turn on notifications for me too, because YouTube's doing that thing now. I hope you have a wonderful morning, noon, day, or night, wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye.